हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी जी टी वी डेस्क वी कम विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप नेम एज ईजी व्यू एयर प्रो सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू वॉट इज ईजी व्यू एयर प्रो वॉट आर इट फीच एंड फंक्शन एंड आफ्टर दैट विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू गेट द फाइल एंड हाउ यू कन्फिगर द सॉफ्ट ऐप टू मेक द कैमरा लाइव and able to access all its feature so keep watching please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one and please press the bell icon so that you get all the notifications of upcoming videos okay so what is easy viewer pc or what is easy viewer mobile app actually is easy viewer pro what actually the main function of the easy wear pro app for ios so basically it is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on pc it is also used to monitor the cameras on the remote locations over the internet if we are talking about its feature and functions then by using this app you are able to see the multiple channel at a time you can watch the recording of the cameras you can take a snapshot of the video you you may record the video you control the ptz camera you can save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc you want you take the backup of the recorded videos you control the quality of the video recording and many more now we'll tell you that how you get the file on your phone for this you should open the play store or apple play store and search for easy viewer pro when you do this here you find the option when you search for easy viewer plus and after that just click on i already downloaded it and delete it so that so in my case you you find that this cloud button otherwise you get that this get button so just click on this get button like this okay so it it may take time to install to download in your phone now it is downloaded after after it's it downloaded just click and install now it, it this open button is enable on your phone just click on open when you do this it allow you to send notification just give them allow and after that here it is this is the loading screen and here in is a small letter like you find the word enter just click on this when you click on this uh, it it asks to region in my case i am from india just click on india and click done now you find the many option okay so on the top of the list just beside the home or the or the extreme right corner you find the plus button just click on this plus button here you find a lot of option like import from cloud online search ip domain serial number and scan so if you are on the same network means your phone and your dvr are connected to same network you should click on this online search like this okay and allow once and again allow so it starts searching okay and if you want if you have one want to connect with locally then you should click an ip on domain or if you have a static ip you should click an ip on domain if you want any remote location in vr to connect by using p2p just click on sn or scan okay and click allow so here the scanner is enabled and if you are in front of the device then you should click is open the scanner and and scan the qr code that will that will uh, find you you can find it on the network when you click on login your uh, device and by and go to the network option and if you want to enter uh, by manually you should click in the, here in the in the in the extreme down that manually enter is sent just click on this when you click on this it ask for a serial number okay so if you should enter a serial number here like
and now click next when you click on next you find a many options so in whatever device you are adding whether you want to add a wireless camera or a wired camera or a nvr or dvr or a doorbells so you should select according to your device you are adding so in my case i am using dvr or nvr just click on the nvr and after that it asks me uh, to a device name just put our device name here and please note that you should put device name which are able which are easily remember by you and again it asks for, for a username and a password please note that this is the username and the password of the device device means whether the device you are adding like uh, dvr nvr or uh, whatever you are adding and just click on save when you click on save it totally depend on internet speed at your end and uh, and your device and in, in my case i have a good internet speed so it is it is second within a second otherwise it may take a minute okay so this is the interface of the software after adding so just double click any cam you find the uh, cam op option here here you find the sd option just click on sd or hd so here you find that when you click on hd your cam is very clear and you click on sd it, the cam is a little blur and it it, it uh, act in a very fluent manner okay so after that here you find the mic button just click on this mic button 